Thank you, Mark, and hello from London. An unusual week of technical indicators last week, one that can, I suppose, best be described as, well, bitty and unconfirming. It seems that the weekly key reversals we did see were singular and not confirmed by other markets. As I go on, I think my meaning will become clearer. So in the currencies, we had a weekly key reversal down last week in the euro against the Japanese yen. But that is not the whole story. You see, there was no similar patterns in euro dollar or US dollar Japanese yen. What is more, this came immediately after the previous week's action where we saw the lesser cousin to the key reversal, the outside week. That action would have set me questioning what was going on here before even looking at last week's action. Subsequently, we have seen the exact opposite of a follow-on lower. Instead, a move high into fresh highs. Not seen since the middle of December last year. We also had a weekly key reversal down in Euro against the Swedish Krona. This looked more interesting, peaking as it did at the top of the market. But we've had no follow-through lower this week, though, admittedly, we've also not recovered from the lows of last week either. We also had a weekly key reversal up in US dollar Russian ruble spot, but there was no similar move or confirmation in the US dollar Russian ruble one month NDF. Next is the commodities, and we had a weekly key reversal up in New York sugar futures last week. Here again, we did not see a similar move in London sugar futures, and much as in Euro Swedish Krona earlier, we've not had a follow through higher in New York sugar this week. But then we've not also have not had a reactionary move back down of any decent sort either. In the stock index and stock index futures, we only had the one weekly key reversal, and that was a weekly key reversal up in the Chinese Chinex stock index. Here again, we lacked confirmation with no weekly key reversals up in either the Chinese CSI 300 stock index or the Shanghai Composite. However, the difference here compared to the other weekly key reversals that I have previously discussed was that we have indeed seen a sort of follow through higher this week. Thus, it may well be that this stock index is a leading indicator for the others. Finally, for the TikTok generation out there, we saw a weekly key reversals down in last week in both GameStop and AMC. In GameStop, the weekly key reversal down looked a good pattern, but we've not seen a follow through lower as yet this week, though we have also not seen a recovery either. In AMC, the situation is a little more interesting, as last week was an immediate countering weekly key reversal down to the previous week's weekly key reversal up, and this time, last week's countering move lower looks a lot more serious than the prior week's attempt higher. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.